Hi, so you're here because you want to know how to make a Leo go crazy over you. Okay, so we'll be exploring that. I'll give you the answer. All right, so first of all, let me um, let me tell you that this is the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. Uh, if you want to watch a review of this, I have one uploaded for you because I know people are going to be asking about the deck. This is the deck. All right, so how are we going to do this? This is the general energy of the question uh, that we have asked, and this is uh, actions and communication style that you can um, use to make a Leo go crazy about you. All right, so the general energy here tells us that um, Leo, Leo is a person that is very good in communication, okay? And they're uh, very good at expressing emotions, um, things that they think, feel, want. They have their way of um, convincing people around them. Now, that convincing the people around them doesn't always mean that they are um, straight with what they want. So they're clear in their mind what they want. Sometimes they, may, they might be a little bit emotional with things and they think they, th they want things. So not everything that they say is what they want. So try to look behind the words and try to match their actions with their, um, their, their, their words. What are they saying? What do they mean? What are they doing? Because sometimes um, things don't match. And if you are dating a Leo, if you want a Leo um, male or female, then you know that. Now, how this is becomes an important information for you is that if you understand what they're doing, this is something that you can do back. So if you see that they're, um, they're more expressive in their actions rather than their communication, so they show their love from their actions or their interest or their, um, that they care, then what you can do is the same thing. So that is what they expect. Now, sometimes that they become very emotional and they will just pull away. Try to be very um, sensitive the way that you tell things and how you come across and try to support them. So if they feel that you are reinforcing the side that makes them feel good. So sometimes it might be that it might not be that they're right, but it doesn't really matter. It's how you make them feel. So if you make them feel that um, what they're doing um, comes across as the right thing, then they will love you for that, all right? So going into the actions, uh, that you, the behavior that you can have when it comes um, to a Leo, they like things, they like new things, they like to explore, they like to uh, be around people, they like joy, they like happiness, but at the same time, they want a person that is there, that is um, stable, that is uh, firm on the ground, that is strict on their ways, because that brings up the security that they don't really have by themselves. So you have to bring in that aspect. Sometimes we find them, as you see here, the emotional withdrawal Joel, and the sad side that they bring up and the distraction that they have. So we see that every time there's things that pull them away from this um, a concrete character that they have. And sometimes they're falling apart and they need someone to come across as more uh, decisive than they are and not so emotional. And that is a person that can um, set the ground for them. So they will follow if you lead the, um, lead the way, but they don't want um, someone who is very um, authoritative. So you, they, you don't have to show your power and your strength. You just have to uh, let them understand that that is the right way of doing things not as I said so, and that is how you should do it. It's more, I would love it if we could, you know, communicate in that way, or if we could do that, or if we can go away this weekend, or if we can go, you know, out this weekend, or whatever that is that you want. So when it comes to the act, to the communication style, you see how over here, it says that they want you to come across as very, um, uh, not honest, but sound as if you are. So they care about you um, caring about them and doing it from um, having the structure in your, in your words. So support them. Whenever they fall apart, bring them together. Take all the pieces that they have and just construct whatever you need to construct there. So you can do that with your words. Make them feel good. Make them feel happy. Make them feel um, loved. Make them... Uh, 
uh, feel uh, good in being with you uh, about this relationship. About and it's very important to have to be uh, always there, always there for them. Be there. Don't let them um, fall apart, but do give them their space and do come across very um, good with your communication skills. So say things. Don't be very uh, aggressive. Don't be very um, decisive. Don't come across as very strict in your ways. They do like those um, characteristics and those skills, but not um, when they're exaggerated, when they're too much of something. They, you want to do it smoothly. You want to be very um, caring in your ways of how to approach them. And if you do these little things, um, then they will love you for that. The one thing that they really, really care about is this. They care about their ego, but not their ego as being very uh, selfish. They care about being um, admired and being, see that, being admired, being um, good into the world, bring new things, new ideas. So whenever they say something, uh, just um, give feedback. Say, hey, that was so nice of you to say, you know, that was so uh, thoughtful. Thank you for thinking about me and thank you for doing this. And just, you know, uh, come across as you really, really care for them. And that is the way that you can win their heart, you know? So pay attention to what they're thinking and kind of um, whatever they do mirror that. So whatever they want, if they want to go out, then just the next time um, come up with an idea of how to make that better. Um, if they need space, just let give them their space and make, and make them feel comfortable, get them dinner, get them something so they can have fun being by themselves. So just support them. That's what they need. Support them and make them feel good. Feeling good for Leo is the best thing that you can do. So that is how you make a Leo go crazy over you. Uh, I don't think I can add anything else right now because that was um, all the information that I can give out for now. Uh, it was lovely having you here and it was lovely doing this reading. If you want to make them go crazy for you, just invest your time and make them feel good. That's all that you have to do. It was lovely doing this for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.